Okay, so the chance what we're looking for is in here, so we're actually going to go for this. Now I need you to come over this way, and then back. I think this might actually be the armor I'm looking for, so... take his chest armor and see if that is actually what we're looking for here. Oh, good God. Actually, no, it's just more spark armor. I mean, still, you know, upgrade parts from my, fu from my future armor, but... Not quite what I'm looking for. Body. Look at that. Okay, so this wasn't really a ghost, but it is pretty much a ghost. And not at all what I was looking for, unfortunately. Wait, was he always there? Did I just come through? Okay, no, I came in this way. And then we go that way, okay. There we go, here's our third guy. I don't know why I keep trying that. Okay, so that should be the last reward we need for the area. We might as well just keep going since we're already here. It says there's an item right, right there. Might as well go for it. This should be the way back up to Port Nixon. Yeah, okay. That makes perfect sense. And then we can ride this. Yep, this is exactly where we came from, which is just this area is the last thing unexplored in the underground. Feels good to get this out of the way. I'm close to a breakthrough. We found a way to merge man and machine in glorious unity at last. It took me a long time to get to this result, but now I can see clearly what have I done? What scourge have I unleashed? No, wait. It wasn't me. This was Barrett's plan. He wanted this. He asked for it. I only did what I was told. I, I have to change my ways. I can see long enough to pay for my sins. I will hunt them down. So notice how Barrett's saying all this shit. I'm the only one who can end this. It's my responsibility, blah, blah, blah. And yet he hasn't actually done anything about this. I'm the one who's running around killing all of his friends. I'm the one who's actually redeeming him. I guess it's like a gameplay and story segregation type deal where it's like, this is the only way it makes sense. Alright, so we're looking for... Yep, yeah, here he is. I'm really hoping this works the way I want it to. You doing well, fellow survivor? <laughs> <laughs> so is he not Barrett or is he somebody else? But anyway. Uh found some recordings, you've lost your mind. Nonsense. 
It's just a couple of old science logs. <laughs> Mad science logs. You created the nano mutants. I didn't create anything. I tried to help them. You were up to no good. So at last you know the truth. Yes, I have a lot to repent for. And a will. I'll find the other scientists. Every single one. I will end their suffering once and for all. No time to talk. Okay, so I completed that mission. And yet, I did not get my goddamn nano uh, sword. That leads me to one conclusion. It's still down here, because that video said it was. But it's probably behind one of those um, nano walls that I can't break right now. Which means I'm going to have to just keep playing, get the uh, get the the wall breaker, and then do the uh, the what's it, and then come back here and do that. So I'm gonna go to Port Nixon first because that's where I'm gonna get the. Oh, hang on. How do I get to that? Can I, can I jump that? I'm going to assume no. Oh my god. Oh wow, it worked! Come back to me. Your sacrifice wasn't for nothing. Oh, there she is. If you need to get first, they won't find you. I'll keep you out of harm's way. Rise! Your time has come! You have to wake up! Wake up! Is she talking to me or someone else? Also, I got an achievement for following in their first. I think that means I got all the, uh, all the nano things. Yes! Oh, fucking finally! Sculpted from an unknown alloy of high stress materials. I'm sorry, hang on. Uh, high stress metals by an ever evolving nanite colony. Functioning nanites are embedded throughout the blade, constantly honing its edge and adjusting its weight distribution and movements of the wearer. So it's the sword that adjusts itself based on uh, how you are holding it. So let's compare it to our current weapon. Uh, let's say that they're both at the same level. The mimetic edge does less damage overall, but greater impact. Less energy gain, but less stamina consumption, and it has nano damage. Plus, it just looks cooler. I'm actually kind of torn between the two. But I've been talking this one up so much, it kind of feels like I should use it. So yeah. We now have the, the Mimetic Edge. How do I get down from here? Oh, there we go. Okay, that worked. Okay, I need to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be going here. I think this is the... No, was that the way? It's so easy to get lost in this place, my god. Okay, no, I, I think this is the way to go. Because this leads to the med bay. Plus the sword glows, which honestly I, I can't say no to. Alright, so we got a shitload of tech scrap. Can we upgrade the sword? No. We need Mark 7 parts. Oh, look at this thing. If for no other reason, I want to use this because it is the boss weapon from the from the first game. And as somebody who beat the first game and recorded the whole LP of it on his channel, wink wink, it's something I definitely want to check out. Okay, I need to get to... The thing is that we don't actually have to worry if... Oh no, hang on. Sorry, my brain is working through things as I speak, so bear with me. Okay, this goes to... Yeah, this goes to Port Nixon, actually, yeah. So we need to go this way. 
I was trying to decide if I wanted to go to the prison or uh, Port Nixon first. And I'm rationalizing Port Nixon because that is where the nano break or the the wall breaker is. I'm operating on theory here because the way to get through like, a powerful energy attack is what's needed to break down those walls, and we're going to get the spark, which should be located in the church, the cathedral, which is in Port, which is past Port Nixon. So if I'm doing this right. God damn it. Really hard to avoid that attack. I should be going in the right direction. Nope, I went in the completely wrong direction. Feeling great about myself today, guys. High self esteem all around. I think the uh, the only other sword I might change out for, assuming I don't go crawling back to my katana, is the uh, the MG Centurion or whatever it's supposed to be called, the one that has the uh, the laser blade. It was not a boss weapon, but it was a boss weapon. <laughs> Okay, so if we don't go this way, it's gotta be the other way that we go. I'm gonna deposit my text scrap, actually. Oh, what, 18,000? Where am I getting all this text scrap? We're close to five battery pips. And for those wondering why I'm focusing on my battery, it's because, um... The MG Centurion armor, you might remember, has that thing where... Did I just go in the... I just turned around and went back the way I came. God damn it. The MG Centurion armor has that buff if you have um, energy pips. And if you have five energy pips, you get even more of a buff. So with, an, with a weapon that does uh, high energy gain... Then you can get some pretty decent damage combos going. Damn it. There we go. Okay, this is the way we want to go, I think. No! Crap! That's probably a good place to end the episode. Okay. What the hell was that? Oh shit, he's dead! Oh my god. And now I'm dead. Did he kill himself because I told him that he was responsible for all those deaths? Because, shit, now I feel bad. I mean, he absolutely was responsible for those deaths. I'm not going to be like, cool, you made mutants. But still, that's harsh. Okay, there's got to be a way to get over there without killing myself. Can I just pop that? There we go. Corroded Butterfly. Yosuke Butterfly was exposed to corrosive substances. Most of its structural integrity remains intact. Okay, so it's like an acid etched uh, twin rig weapon. I think this actually was a, uh, a boss uh, weapon that, in the first game. But enough of that now. We have to figure out a way to get back up where we were. Wait, did he leave any kind of like note behind? Flapping his wings a bit, which is weird, but oh, didn't leave any sort of notes behind or anything. All right, so where are we going? Oh god, I hate that thing. There's the door. All right. Nope. Come on. All right. Take seven or something. I may or may not have edited out the other takes because, dear God, this takes a while. Okay, I'm pretty sure this goes to a dead end. Oh, wait, no, it went to the dark birthplace, which I can't even get into, so never mind.
Yep, not gonna bother with you. Where did I get 20,000 tech scrap from? Oh, I almost did the same thing again. Okay, here we go. Uh, Warren's hide... Did he follow me? Good for you, guy. Okay, so I believe I can take this uh, this thing all the way to port um, all the way to port Nixon. But if I come out this way, I can actually stop off at um, the Seaside Court. And I'm curious to see how they're holding up in the wake of the uh, Nanite Apocalypse. There may may or may not be some quests there I can turn in. If I, if I remember right, this uh, this hideout is directly underneath the bridge, which is right next to the way to that uh, that seaside court. And on another level it would be very very nice if I could start actually um, unlocking some fast travel routes. Because the underground is great and all, but it is not a fast travel system. Rona squad, assemble! Shields death shall be avenged! Oh good. This isn't a job, it's destiny. Okay, so, apparently me killing uh, shields earlier has resulted in some... What the fuck was that? Did it just fly away? Oh, there it is. Shit. Has resulted in some hurt feelings on the part of the military. means I now have to deal with apparently Ronin Squad which by the way still actually a pretty cool name for a uh... shit come on no damn it fuck so here's what happened that thing hits hard I was stun locked and I was uh, getting hit with na nano damage so three great tastes that went together to completely fuck my day Great thing is, I don't have to go after that uh, tech scrap because it's right here. And yeah, we're looking to go right over there. All we gotta do is get there. Yeah, here's the other end of that street I was trying to go down earlier. Naturally, all these guys are... Oh my god! Um, I'm gonna say that's death. What do you guys think? Activate your body gear lights? Maybe it's not death. Maybe you can actually survive that fall. I'm not gonna try it, but maybe you could. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. How are you guys doing over at Seaside Court? Six guys at once? No, thank you. Yeah, I've picked up a lot more audio logs since the last time I was here, so maybe I can just head up and talk to, um, that thingy. The, uh, the what's it called? The vending machine robot lady. It's surprisingly less pop- Oh! Drone guy's gone! Interesting. Welcome back, enemy of the state. AID has declared you their new prime target. Let's just take care of our business, shall we? I can't afford to be seen with you. Thanks, so, Scrappy. <laughs> how about sharing some information? Uh, yeah, check my audio files. You have collected more than 50 audio files. You have reached 
the final reward tier. Nobody's ever gotten this far before. Enjoy listening. It's on the house. Thank you. I will update your records. Goodbye. 50,000? Oh, and uh, Podshot returns. What did I get from that? Audio logs. Where's Podshots? Oh, there it is. Podshots. Three. Oh, it's um like a podcast. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. This is Podshot, your favorite source for Iron Mouth gossip, news, and reviews. Breaking news hot off the press. Earlier today, movie production company Neuroflix replaced Iron Mouse actor Kyle Baxter with an AI robot. The robot will play Iron Mouse in all future movie productions and even record new actors' commentaries for all eight films starring Kyle Baxter. Now, some of you may remember my, uh, very public feud with Mr. Baxter. How are you still dancing? You probably expect me to gloat now. <laughs> so let me just say this. Who has the last laugh now? <laughs> Not Kyle Baxter, that's for sure. You just gotta love this technological revolution. They could replace anyone now, even podcast hosts. And they, they wouldn't do that, would they? Kind of starting to see the double-edged sword here, aren't you, guy? My favorite. Ra uh, can you sell me anything? What do you Thank got? You again. Oh, holy shit. Uh, angel gear. And nightfall gear. I'm guessing this is gear that I wouldn't otherwise get. Already own it. Already own it. Buy it. Buy it. Already owned. Already owned. Okay, yeah, I guess that's everything we need. I just like unlocking gear. I don't know what to tell you. Let's go ahead and level up a couple of times. Deposit the rest. Almost there. Can I redistribute? How many do I need to get up there? Honestly curious. My god, really? Oh, there we go. Okay. Can we get it to the 400? I think I'll be satisfied then. Um, well, how many do I... How many? Okay, so I need exactly three... I need 75. I will settle with that. Well, we'll get the health to 500 and we'll leave the stamina there and we'll just keep upping it from there. My health has shrunk a little bit, but in exchange for the five energy tanks, I think it's probably worth it. Are you? Brother Eli has risen from the grave. Smile, Acolyte. Now we're all gonna die in a fiery blaze of glory. Why would I smile about that? That seems that sounds horrible. I don't actually know where the fast travel thing is supposed to be in this area. Maybe if I had explored more, I would have seen it, but... I kind of feel like the whole fast travel tube system might be a bit of a red herring, or this game just wasn't designed very well. 